Hello, it's Mr. Smith here, and we're going to start a new project called Fun at the Fair. And we're going to have our cat moving around in a dodgem car. So, we're going to click on the cat, and then we're going to go to costumes. Now, we only need one costume, because the cat's just going to be sat in a car. So, I'm going to delete that one, and we're going to edit this costume. So, to start with, we're going to click on black. And we're going to make quite a thick line to represent the rubber around a bumper car. So I need to be clicked on the pen. And we're going to draw that and just curve it up a little bit at the end. We're then going to choose the colour of the car. So I'm going to have a nice dark blue. And we're going to just have quite a tall back to protect the cat's head. And then room for the cat to get in. And then up a tiny bit and then just down at the front there. And then we're going to see if we can fill it in in blue. We could use a different colour but I'm just going to choose blue. So, for some reason the fill doesn't work, so we're going to do it the other way, which is just our thick blue pen. The best of doing it that way is I can actually put a nice stripe on the car as well. And then I'll have a nice yellow stripe down here. The last thing I want to do is, as you probably know, um, bumper cars are powered by an electric cable that's above them, safely above. So I'm going to put a big, tall, Table here. And there's my bumper car. I'm just going to improve it by making the rubber bumper a bit bigger because I want the bumper to push away any other cars. So it's got to it's got to go to the front to protect the car. So that's my car. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to resize it. So I'm going to get the arrow key, the select tool, put a box around it, and just resize it. There we go. So what I want to be able to do now is to make the car move backwards and forwards, because in the end I'm going to have another car and they can bang into each other. So we're going to go to scripts, and we're going to go to events, and we're going to say when the right arrow is clicked on the keyboard, the car is going to just move. When the left arrow is clicked, we're also going to move. But this time, as you probably know, if we've got 10 steps that way, the opposite way will be minus 10. So you just click in there and type minus 10. And then we can try our game. So we're going to click on the, the green flag and we should be able to get our bumper car to move. Now clearly we need to be able to get it to change direction when we press the right arrow. So I'll teach you that in another lesson. Thank you for watching.